going on everyone? Jurassic Ninja here and today we're going to be looking at Manhunt. And if you thought Rockstar Games felt bad for all the violence and bad press they got from the 2001 released Grand Theft Auto 3, well you'd be wrong. Dead wrong. Because in 2003 they released a very bloody, gore filled stealth action survival horror title called Manhunt. In fact, during the creation of the game, even some of the staff were uncomfortable with the level of violence. Jeff Williams, a former Rockstar employee, says there was almost a mutiny within the company because of this game. The gore in this was negatively covered in the news, magazines, and even in the courts. To be fair, it is pretty nasty for the time. The executions are brutal, but you know what? I love it. I love it because I know it's fake and a video game, and I also know it won't make me a real murderer like these asshats thought it would. Originally, this was a PS2 exclusive, releasing November 2003, with the Windows and Xbox versions coming out in April 2004. In 2013, Manhunt was added to the PlayStation Network to be playable on the PS3, and in 2016 for the PlayStation 4 with trophy support. If you happen to own the Xbox version, you can play it on your Xbox 360 with Microsoft's backwards compatibility support. This will not enhance the game at all graphically, but it will upscale it to 720p, which does look really nice. And this is not playable on the Xbox One or Xbox Series X as of yet. Manhunt's development began in the mid-90s using the Renderware engine. In May 2003, it was announced at E3. When released, it sold pretty bad, selling around 75,000 copies in its first month. But with all the bad press covering the game, naturally people wanted to see what the hype was all about. Something I didn't know about was that Manhunt makes use of the PlayStation 2's and Xbox's microphones so you can use your voice to alert the bad guys. Your ass is grass! When using the headset mic on the Xbox, the in-game director will also speak in your ear for extra immersion. Immersion. I'll be frank with you. We set that jump up to see if you had what it takes to be our leading man. On to the graphics. The first comparison will be how short and fat the guy is on the Xbox. That is because there wasn't an option for widescreen mode and the game is being stretched. Let's fix it for the rest of the video. Alright, that's better. Now let's compare. The camera angle seems to be different. On the PS2 it's more downward, on the Xbox it's more straightward. You can see the top of the buildings here and not here. Also note the gap from his head to the dumpster here. Way larger on the PS2. Also, I noticed that I probably moved the camera. Textures are more compressed on the PS2, at least on this thing. In this tutorial camera mode, the top of the bus on both are different. Very clean on the PS2 and rusty on the Xbox. On my first in-camera murder scene, you can tell the PlayStation 2 offers more blood. Looking at his shirt shows more red. I increase the brightness so you can see it better. Looking at the fence, you see both are very jittery. But when getting to the last step, the chain-linked fence on the Xbox is pretty nice looking and still broken on the PS2. On top of that, you can see the visuals are more crisp on the Xbox. Looking at the floor, it's just sharper. Another example of the Xbox being sharper, when on the courts, since the Xbox has higher resolution, you can see the jaggies and noise more, which is a bit annoying. Throughout the tutorial, they show you how to play the game with this TV camera scanline effect, but this scene on the Xbox skipped that overlay. On this camera scene, the timestamp is at the bottom on the PS2 and the top of the Xbox. Look, I know the PS2 is pretty blurry, but the floor on the Xbox is just so staticky and it bugs me more than the blur. But the Xbox of course has better lighting and shadows. Some examples of that is the lighting on the back of the van, and just the overall ambiance of the game on the Xbox. It's not miles better or anything, it's just better and this is just an observation. Coming up, we will see this tree looks better on PS2. I know that makes the PlayStation the best version. I need better trees in my game, but the Xbox does have a better sign, and I do love having a nice looking sign, so I guess it's a tie for now. This scene, take it as you will, but the light is brighter on the PS2. Is that better? I really don't know. 
But there are two more examples here and here. And this game is also playable on the PS4 through the PlayStation Store. This version is the PS2 game emulated on the console, but it is upscaled and it looks really good. Also playable on the Xbox 360 and also the original Xbox version. Nothing enhanced, just upscaled to 720p, but hot diggity dog, it looks damn good too. The 360 is a lot more sharper in visuals versus the PS4, but like I said, that is because the native Xbox version was already sharper than the PS2 version. That is why. You can also see more paper blowing around the floor on the 360 versus the PS4. That would be the same on the Xbox versus PS2. You know, same game. Bringing in all four, we can see the PS4's fence looks really good here, which is odd as it's literally the PS2 game. I mean, it's miles better. I really do like that fence though, it just looks really good. At the end of the day, play this great game on the PS4 or Xbox 360. They look pretty damn great. Sure, you can play it on the PS2 or the Xbox, still really fun on those consoles too. But wait, isn't there a PC version? Of course. So where's the PC comparison? Well, here it is. Honestly, I kind of just forgot and I had to redo it. So however, I have the game on Steam running on Windows 10 and completely unplayable during this scene in the tutorial. This fence is supposed to open from this bad guy and well, on my first try, he just ran against this wall. The second time, he comes through the fence, but it closes and seems to lock. The third time, he just forgot his key to unlock this gate. There was a 4th, 5th, all the way to 10th try before I had the blonde moment and realized this is probably a widespread issue, and sure enough, it was, and there is a fixer for this very issue, and several others. It's the Manhunt Fixer. Now the game works perfectly. At a glance, they all look the same, but looking closer at the lines in the sidewalk, we see the PS4 is pretty blurry, the 360 is all alien AC, and the Steam version is crisp and nice looking. If we zoom way in, the PS4 is the only one without the aliasing flickering. I am bad with terminology, which is why there isn't a whole lot of it in my videos, but the PS4 is probably blurry because of the bilinear filtering that was used in the PlayStation 2, and since this is the exact PS2 game, it makes sense. Also on the 360, you see a ton of vertical lines. Now I'm not too sure if the compression from YouTube is going to make these lines not visible, but trust me, they are there when you're zoomed in a lot. The PlayStation 4 is also widescreen due to the fact that the PS2 was widescreen, and the 360 is only 4-3 resolution because, well, that's what the Xbox was. But watch this little swap a -roo, the PS4 to 360. See how much sharper the visuals are on 360? Yeah, pretty crazy. The PC's resolution is, of course, whatever your little heart desires. Also, this next part is a huge win for the PC version. On the consoles, you're stuck with a shitty little camera just following you. You have no control over it. On PC, you can move the camera anywhere you like. You strafe with the left and right and move with the mouse or right joystick if you use a controller. It feels so much better and easier to play. There's also an HD mod called Blood Moon Manhunt. It does more than change graphics though. You can read all about it here. Link will be in the description below. The character is way sharper, but some of the textures I'm not a fan of, like the modded street. Too many wet spots. One other negative was removing some of the bad language tagging on the walls. Say hello? I prefer kill this dumb fuck. Most of the mod is a huge improvement though. Like this awesome new business that just opened up. Hand job, nail, and spa. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be going there. What does it for me is how much better looking he is on the modded version. This isn't a video covering the mod, I literally only showed you like 1%. It really is a great mod, so check it out for yourself. But what it's really about is the PS2 versus the Xbox. Well, the Xbox wins, even with the locked 4.3 resolution. If you jailbreak your Xbox, you can get a widescreen patch for it. PS4 versus 360, I picked the PS4 because of the widescreen and it still looks pretty damn good. At the end of the day, it's the modded Steam version for me though. I always loved this game back in the day, and I still do, but I do feel the controls didn't age so well on the consoles. This is all I have for you today, so please do subscribe, leave a like, and have a great day, and until next time, take it easy.
Wait, you guys are still watching this video? That's amazing. If you are enjoying it, please do hit the like button and maybe subscribe. Whatever you want to do, it's going to help this channel grow and I can make more videos. So thank you and on to the comparison.